Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad Twilight of the Spirits with me, Ultra Gamer J. In our last episode, we explored the beauty of Yubel at, at night. And and it was a very story-heavy chapter. Well, not so much chapter as episode. Not important. Point is, we are never I wanted to soak up the, the, I guess the ambience? I guess that's the proper term? Of this particular or map? Because we will never see the U Bell at night, night for the rest of the game. This will be the rather, what I mean to say is this is the only time we'll get to see it. But sadly, all good things must come to an end sake of pro progressing through this story. It's not your fault, it's the Nazis by another name. The Dillsweld Empire.
how coincidental, or, well, yeah, I guess it is coincidental, that you were, that you would think the exact same thing. And again, I am still surprised that Lilia's foot was not blown clean off in that incident. In Isulo for Forest. But of course, gameplay and story segregation. dialogue has changed for anyone. Probably has. They are, well, you're not entirely wrong. They are a key, but they're not the key. Not wrong. Women love getting flowers, but they also like getting candy, but who, then it, to be fair, who doesn't like getting candy? Well, besides diabetics. You know what? Yeah, it's... Screw gender conformity. Break the glass ceiling, sweetie. You little tyke. At a girl. You take those. You take those guys who tell you to go into the kitchen and make them a sandwich, and you turn them into a literal sandwich. a question mark instead of a period at the end of that last sentence. Hey, at least you're not Lloyd. I hope that joke wasn't too soon. turning means more energy, so yeah, that's a good thing. What 
about, like, boats? Like, regular seafaring vessels. Is that an option? Because if it's not, there there's going to be a bit of a plot. That leads... That might lead to a plot hole later on. A real head-scratcher. In my personal opinion. Oh, you poor naive man. Well, they are Nazis by another name, so chances are they have the four they have the reserves to to have a few people wait it out. Hi kitty. Such a good kitty. speaking, lots of people were born under a different star than than you, or your family, or the people of Yuval. Well, they are Nazis by another name, so yeah, they probably would. about asking your mom if she'll come supervise you as you ask Zeb about the stories. Just a thought. perfectly fine in the airship. As long as you stayed away from the glass to look outside. I think. begs the question, is travel by ocean an option? Also, if we were to take her to Cathena, uh, and they came 
him stomping around for her and you, Bell, you would technically be telling the truth. She's not there anymore. And you could also you could also play dumb as to saying where she went. To be fair, Karg has m more important things to worry about than satisfying his hormonal urges. I mean, seriously. You're asking... You're telling him that he should prioritize eyes dating over killing Nazis by another name and Deimos. The same Deimos that killed Paulette's dad. I mean, sure, that could be a bit of a bonding experience, but that's besides the point. The threat before Karg and friends is immediate. Better to do deal with it now than later. I'm gonna stop the episode right here. This has been Ultra Gamer J signing off, hoping to see you all in the next video, and please remember to like and subscribe for more content.